I'm a professional engineer. I'm indigenous, uh, specifically Métis from the Red River Valley. And I'm queer. I use they, them pronouns. Being queer in rural Manitoba is quite difficult. Now that I'm in Winnipeg, I feel more confident in my gender identity, sexuality. I'm quite comfortable being non-binary. In engineering and construction, typically it was male orientated. And I know the Engineering Association has been working on trying to get more diversity, but in a male dominated world, previously I felt like I had to fit in. The older I'm getting, the more I realize that I'm happier when I'm myself. I'm slowly shifting every year to a happier me, and that happier me is my true identity. And I'm finding I'm breaking down the barriers between workplace and home life. And I'm actually quite happy uh, now that I'm no longer have to hide behind some of these barriers. And since I moved to Winnipeg a couple years ago, I'm like, okay, this is my chance. I'm going to help as many people as I can and be involved with my community. And uh, I'm now actually associated with about six different gender and sexual diversity groups based out of Winnipeg here. And I'm actually the chair of one of the groups. It is quite rewarding and it can be quite challenging. Often what I find is with my work position and some of my volunteer roles, I'm the only voice at the table bringing forward these issues. And as an activist, my hope for the future is that we will have a more diverse representation, not only in workplaces, but on committees and boards and whatnot and that everyone will be able to be represented. And my hope for the future is that there'll be less barriers and more choices for future workers and future people in the engineering profession. So if I would have to describe engineers in one word, I would say creative. The creations may be in different forms, electronic, digital, infrastructure, processes, manufacturing, you name it, but engineers create. And uh, I enjoy it. I'm an approvals engineer, and I work with the Office of Drinking Water, and I approve all the water treatment plants in the province. My role is to ensure that drinking water is safe for uh, everyone in Manitoba. End result is we want um, safety of the public first and foremost and um, environmental issues to be considered and um, technical uh, requirements to be fulfilled and all my energy and effort is to try to make the world a better place and uh, I really do see that small changes can lead into greater good, the greater good. It sounds cheesy, but there is a greater good. It's awe-inspiring when you see a brand new water treatment plant um, or a brand new building or road or whatever it may be. And it was nothing before. It was just ideas in someone's heads. And now it's, now it's an actual real thing. What makes me happy is seeing ideas turn into reality. And in engineering, that is what happens.